You might have heard that more Americans are traveling in Europe these days. I'd like to focus this video on one reason why I believe we're seeing more Americans in places like this. So obviously, if it is your first trip across the pond, you're probably doing more of a European vacation Chevy Chase style adventure where you will go to the top of that tower and you will read about why it's there and tell people and take pictures about how you went to that old tower. But if you keep coming back to Europe like I do, there's probably something beyond going to the top of the tower that really appeals to you. And I think more and more Americans are finding that this is a nice place to exist. It's a nice place to take a break. We might only be a minute into the video and we've already got a second tower to show you and some church bells going off in the distance. As I mentioned, I think a lot of Americans are increasingly finding Europe to be sort of a relief from the very highly competitive cutthroat world that exists outside of Europe. And um, this is a place that still values things like quality. It still values things like designing better products. It values things like culture, things like that, that you just don't really see very much of outside of Europe. And um, just that just exists there. It has for a long, long time. And people just sort of live their lives in that kind of atmosphere without even really asking themselves like what is that all about it's just there and so there is this sort of immutable aspect to life and existence in places like this the closest that i can come to to trying to sort of capture that feel other than what we're doing today maybe you've seen the movie in bruges and i think that movie really sort of gives you that feel of what it's like to exist in Europe as someone who may not be from the place, right? Kind of getting to know the place and the locals staying for a while and also getting to know some of those Americans passing through. So it's a different set of priorities, you might say. But you might also ask, what about the world and how fast it's changing? I think that there's nothing that's going to stop this fast-paced change that most of the world is experiencing. So what does that mean for places like this? Sometimes I wonder if we're not just sort of engaging in some sort of unbridled competition that leads to sort of a race to the bottom. And will Europe have to sort of give in to that and, and engage in that sort of thing? Or will Europe still be able to maintain some standards in their society, in their culture? It's a big question that we'll try to answer down at the river that separates Germany from Poland. Let me show you the lady friend of that guy up there. And she is right across the doorway. Here we are on a bridge separating two nations. Germany and Poland to try to answer the question, what does the future hold for places like this? I think that if there's one area that Europe has always been sort of open to change, it's been in the area of product design, building better products at better companies. And if we can somehow maintain that as the goal, but change how we get there, I think that would really help Europe continue to differentiate itself from this race to the bottom that we may be experiencing in the rest of the world. So we'll have to change how we achieve those same standards that exist today. How do we get there? That's the part that needs to change in order to make those products actually affordable to the outside world. The end goal of having standards, of doing things at better companies and better products, I think, that is a goal that's really going to help Europe continue to be a viable place for the future. Will this place increasingly be seen as a touristy place, a place for people from outside to come to experience a bit of relief from that outside world? I think it will more and more become that kind of place as well. So that is it for today from the bridge over the Nysa River separating Germany from Poland. And for now, we will say, until our next adventure, goodbye. Dangerous times don't fly too high. Be sure to keep the ground in sight. Fly forever if you keep it tight. Love the world that
keep the sky on your mind.